One other important thing that we discuss in this lecture is uh, the way we decompose a vector into two components, one in the direction of another vector and one normal to that other vector. So as you can see here in this figure, we have um, a vector A which is being projected into another vector B. So the vector AB, sometimes we write AB as a scalar to indicate the length and sometimes we write it as a vector, so we just call it here A subscript B to indicate the complete vector. A subscript v, B is a vector in the direction of B, and whose length is A subscript B as a scalar. Um, the other vector, which is actually normal to uh, B, which is shown here, I'm trying to do it in a, uh, show it in this way, I denote this one by A B normal. This is, this is the, uh, the, uh, the component of A normal to B. Um, how do you calculate these vectors? We already discussed this in some of the examples. We said you have to get first a unit vector in the direction of B, which we denote by A, a, a small subscript B. And then we take the dot product between the vector A and this unit vector, and this will give you the scalar projection of A in the direction of B. And if this number turned out to be negative, it's fine. This simply means that A and B make an angle greater than 90 degrees. Um, if you want to get the, the actual vector, then you take this length, which, which is shown here, which is here I will call this length A subscript B, and then you multiply it by the unit vector in the direction of B. Uh, if you want to get the, the normal component, here it's denoted as uh, the vector D, but I actually prefer to call it this A subscript B normal. It is an, it's a normal, co it's a normal component, uh, the, or the component of A normal to B. We had some examples before on that in previous, in, uh, in we, have seen, we have seen some examples on that in previous lecture, in previous exam um, problems, and we'll show one more example right now. So here we would like to find um, uh, a unit vector. This is just a preparation, very important problem. Uh, find the unit vector normal to the plane 4x plus 2y plus 4z equal to minus 7. Um, so what is, what is, the, what is the, no the unit vector normal to that plane? This is the equation of a plane. Um, so I will just to give you a little bit of explanation here, and this is something that people who work to, with expression of planes would know very well. If x1, x1, y1, and z1 is a point that lies in that plane, they must satisfy that 4x1 plus 2y1 plus 4z1 is equal to minus 7. Um, and, if we pick, and if we pick some other point, x2, y2, and z2, it will also satisfy the same thing. If we subtract these two points, we obtain that 4 multiplied by x1 minus x2 plus 2 multiplied by 1, y1 minus y2 plus 4, z1 minus z2 is equal to 0. Uh, this can be written in the form of a vector A, and A here has coordinates 4, 2, and 4, dot product, the, the two, uh, R1 minus R2, this is R1 here, okay? R1 is the unit vector of the first point, R2 is the unit vector of the second point. So this is how really things look like. If if I have here, the, this is a plane, this is the point, first point, this is the origin, this is here R1. If I have a second point here, this is here R2. Okay, I'm sorry, it's a little bit chaotic here. And if I subtract them, uh, I get this vector here. So this vector R1 minus R2 is a vector inside the plane. It's a vector in the plane. And this expression that we have here, is showing that A is normal to that vector. So A, which, which, ha, which has components 4, 2, and 4, must be normal to the vector uh, R1 minus R2. But this vector is in the plane, and we selected R1 and R2 arbitrary. They can be any two points in the plane. So this means that A is normal to every point in, in the, every, every line in the plane, so it must be the normal to the plane. So this means, in this case, that the direction of the normal to the brain is the direction 4ax2ay plus 4az. plus four a z. So to get the unit normal from the vector A, normal to the plane, what we do, we divide A by its modulus, by its length, by its uh, uh, magnitude. So uh, we get the square root of uh, uh, 4 squared, 16, plus 4, plus uh, here we have uh, 4, 2, and 4, so plus 2 squared give you 4, 
plus 4 squared will give you 16. So if you sum all this, you get 36. Square root of 36 is equal to 6. So divide every component by 6. And if you simplify, you get this final expression here. That an is equal to 2 over 3ax plus 1 over 3ay plus 2 over 3ez. We use this very often electromagnetics. We determine the normal to a surface. And we would like to do the dot product between some vectors and that unit normal. So we now know if you are given the expression of a plane, how you can determine the normal. The normal is simply the direction given by the coefficients, multiplying the x, y, and z. And to the converted to unit normal, you divide by its length. We have here one more example. Um, we would like to get the vector component of the vector a, which is equal to 3ax minus 2az, normal to the vector b, ax plus ay plus az. As we explained in the pre in in the uh, in the previous uh, uh, explanation or previous theory, that to get the projection of a vector in the direction of another vector, you have to get the unit vector first and then do dot product. So here we get the unit vector in the direction of b. We divide b by its length, um, and because b has all coefficients of ones, its length is equal to square root of three. Then we do um, a dot product between the vector A and the unit vector in the direction of B. This will give you here the length of the projection of A in the direction of B. This is a length, this is a scalar. And then to get the actual vector projection in the direction of B, we multiply by the unit vector in the direction of B. So when you do this, I, 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 I wrote the expression here in a, in a more concise way. I did not put uh, AX, AY, and AZ. I simply put the components of the vector, dot and the dot. This is here is the, is the, um, is the AB, unit vector in direction of B. And after you get this number, the one between the brackets number, you multiply it by AB, which is the one outside. So square root 3 by square root 3 will give you 3. If you do the dot product, 3 by 1 uh, minus 2 by 1, this will give you 1. So the result of the, of this, the, of the projection is equal to 1. AB here is equal to 1. So, which is very interesting. So when you project A in the direction of B, the length of the projection is equal to 1. And this is in the direction of uh, AB, the unit vector in the direction of B, to give you this last answer here. So you can see the vector projection in the direction of B is the same as AB, the unit vector in the direction of B. A small subscript B, which is very interesting result. Now, to get the vector normal, uh, the, the vector component of A normal to B, what we do, we say we subtract uh, A, we subtract from A its projection in the direction of B. Because A has two components, a projection in the direction of B and a, a component normal to B. So, this is if we draw A, A can be decomposed into two components. Uh, the first one is the vector AB, and the second one is the normal vector which is here equal to uh, AB normal. So, I uh, get this AB normal, it's equal to A minus AB. This is A, and this is AB here. It has these three components. If you subtract them, you obtain this one. How do I know that my answer here is right? Very simple. We, we, we take the dot product between this vector and B. And I will let you do this, and if you take the dot product, you'll get an answer which is equal to what? Should be, the answer should be equal to zero. Because the, 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 the component of A, or the vector component of A normal to B, must have a zero dot product with B. And indeed, I verified that, and I will, I will leave it for you to verify it yourselves.